say something mean. No! I was just saying... Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Big Papa? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. That's cute. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah! I already said I would be fine! Looks, it looks like they're all, she, uh, Natsuki and Monica look like they're holding hands. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the- oh wait. Do you feel the same way, Big Papa? Me? Uh, I guess you say I'm interested in see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me! What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki. What?! Why is everyone yelling at me?! Cause you're a brat! I didn't even do anything! N no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know how... Why Big Papa picked me. And also... Your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've had. There you go. They go really well with my tea. Nothing that I can do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it! I get it! I'm kind of surprised, though! Why? Um... Well... I'm the one acting immature! Oh my god! I can't think of the word, but she's self-reflecting. Good job! I already know that! Are you trying to cheer me up all of a sudden? I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one who's surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she has when she already has trouble with words, she's trying to cheer someone up. Must be far out of her own comfort zone. Good for Yuri, she's growing as a person. Monica and Natsuki are best girls? No, I can't. I can't get on board with the Natsuki, man. She drives me insane. Yuri is best girl? Yeah, I like Yuri. I like Yuri and Sayori. I would like to get to know more about Monica, but it's not letting me. I might have done something wrong. Uh, but I get, begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound... Was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if I didn't, if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. That's nice. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. Hey, good for you. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Hell yeah, I'm going to eat them all. Uh, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki at the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Huh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, I'm gonna get some digits, yes! Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright, I'm giving some digits. She's not gonna call me now. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. I got some digits! I got some girl number! Okay. Then, I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Why my house, for one, and... You just scheduled it without asking me if I'm free or available on Sunday? Alright. Is that a problem? No, uh, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Yeah, you would have all the... Fly? You would have all the equipment, right? Flicked him. He's still alive! Stupid fly. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like I should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Yep. 
I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Big Papa. I think that will make a very pro oh. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Stop. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Please don't bring up that I chose you third. I, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Because you give me the vapors. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. B but... Yuri thinks herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if I took her... As if it took her tremendous effort, effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. Fly, hold on a minute. The steam tags are there for a reason. Yeah, that's what people keep saying. I'm... Oh, it's her. I'm really looking forward to this Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and, I fo and Yuri follows. No, I missed! He came right at my face and I wasn't prepared for that. I can't believe this! Yuri's get going to be coming to my house on Sunday! Even though I would partner I would prefer to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might come up end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori find out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. I don't know. I'm picking up on some vibes. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Save point? Save point. Let's do save point. It's already Sunday! I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She gonna bring tea? She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early on the other day. I haven't heard anything for a couple days. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. I've been doing what Sayori said and what Monica said. See, I wanted to go check up on her. That's what I would have done. Like, I would have gone straight from home and be like, Sayori, yo, let's let's hang out. Let's go make some foods. Let's have some Disney night. Let's hang out with some snacks. You know, like, I'm not going to bring up whatever's bothering you. We're just going to hang out and have fun and just, you know, have a good day. You know, try, try to raise your spirits a little bit. That's what I would have done, but the game didn't let me. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? No. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit simply entering each other's house like we were family. Music's gone, so I need to stop bouncing. The house is quiet. So Yuri isn't on the isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's very strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Big Papa. Is that her voice? I think that's her voice. Hi, Big Papa. There it is. I sit down in her room. Look at her fat little cow! I love it. In her little dumb bird. I love that fat cow. So Yuri forces a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. Oh, see, she's having a hard time. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? So Yuri's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. 
<laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Oh. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. <laughs> How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? I'm worried about you. Were you supposed to be see Yuri today? How'd you figure that out? Yeah, but... Wait, how'd you know about that? So Yuri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. Why? It's only natural- or it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. I guess that is true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. The way stares in random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally, I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. Aww. So. Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Big Papa. Eh? Why, why can't it just be like it's always been? Stupid fly. This is all my fault. What? If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, what are you talking about? If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. What are you talking about? No, you talk to me if you need. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. Heck no, you're my friend. But this is just my punish punishment, isn't it? isn't it? She's in a dark place right now. Holy crap. I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> and she laughs about that? Dude. Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Yeah, I'm fucking- I'll, I'm gonna cancel my meeting with Yuri right now. Fly. Get her out of here, Fly. Uh, I read that one. <laughs> Siri so gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Big Papa. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Big Papa? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Call it! Ah! Called it! Okay. Understanding now. Did you know that? I did. I don't know if my character did. Why do you say why do you think I'm late for school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Yep. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Oh, gotta go give her a hug! And tell her that she means the world to me and that I really want her to stay around and I'm glad she's alive. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy into caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Now anyone worrying about me. That goes with a relationship of any kind. People worry about you because they care about you. I'm in shock. Can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to not just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Fuck! Dude! That's the worst thing to say right now! Ah! Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. That's a good thing to say, but the thing before it was bad. It's essentially guilt tripping. Ah! Don't! It's not good for her mental health. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little harder every day to make a little better for you. There you go. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Big Papa. Why do you think I didn't tell you? 
Because if I told you, then you'd have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. Too late. I care about you. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bad beating... A bad being swung against my head. Yep. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. See, you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. Ah. Uh. So, that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. I don't understand that. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. There you go. No, Big Papa. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing I could have done, the only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. No! No! Tears streak down Sierra's voice. Stop! The game's gonna make me feel things and I don't wanna. Ah! Uh! I made you join the literature club because. I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and made- and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Fuck, dude. Without thinking, I- I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Yes, hugs. Hugs. Big, long hug. Ah, <sighs> Big Papa. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. And I'm glad that you're opening up and telling me about these things. <laughs> Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. Boom. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. Big Papa. Sayori isn't hugging back. That's fine. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Big Papa. Hi. Sierra ba barely managed to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. Who? But all I want is for her to know that I care. Oh, that's me saying it to her. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Don't guilt her, man. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Suri finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Big Papa. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Oh, that sound. Oh, that stab. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Suri lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um... Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. So Yori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Fuck that, dude! Cancel those plans! Maybe I should cancel. Yes! No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. Oh, fuck. But let me go get me some Miyazaki movies and we'll just, you know, chill. Watch some good shows. I'll bring over your favorite snacks. I don't even care. We'll bring, we'll have a pajama party. We're gonna hang out. Have the best day. 
We're gonna make you smile and have see a little bit of joy and happiness in the world. But it's almost time for you to meet.